At the end of the last video, I was going to corral draw to create the little architecture structure that I could cut from plastic. And here's the little printed part. Uh, and then I'm going to mount it here to plastic and then just cut it right out. And you see, end up with the piece in the proper shape. The next step is we're going to start fabrication of the details on the building and the first is to create the structure to mount uh, the plastic around the that raised elevation part and just by putting a couple pieces of square these won't be seen the cutting is crude i jump over to the front window in order to put the mullions in so i took these two different depths of plastic one is to go around the perimeter of the window and the other is for the vertical mullions in the middle get them all spaced out so that we have a window that looks into the retail The white piece of plastic that I'm gluing the mullions to is just a placeholder. It's taped to the fascia from behind and I'm using that as a base just so that I have something to glue to and in a little bit we're going to go and cut out the uh, cut out where the panes will end up and we'll end up with a nice looking uh, set of window panes. Before I do any final cuts, I'm going to make sure that all the angles are square here and then I'm going to do some fine work and then glue everything rock solid uh, using CA. It took a few moments to finish up the door details just by trimming it out, sizing it properly. So now I'm going to texture the areas that'll be stucco using my Mod Podge and Heavy Nap Sock method. We're going to spread Mod Podge over the front and sides where it's required. And then we'll go back and take the Heavy Nap Sock and pat the texture consistent throughout all the way around the building. The material dries clear so the texture is a little bit hard to see, but once it gets painted, it'll look correct. So I'm going to deviate a little bit from prototype here and to show some differentiation on the uh, underneath the metal roof, I'm going to put some brick to continue the story that that one section was an add-on that they had a temporary roof and some Yahoo bricked it over in order to create additional storage. Uh, cut a piece of strip styrene to use as a uh, fascia for the section. So what you're seeing right now is me beginning to prepare interior detail. That, what I'm pointing to right there, is going to be a uh, refrigeration cabinet. I am get some extra spare plastic to create a sales counter and then a cabinets at an angle. 
So here on the front, I'm going to take little pieces of 90 degree plastic to create the octagonal or hexagonal shape along here, then put something flat across the front where I was just pointing over there. I'll do that using um, siding material painted silver. Behind this, is half of it's going to be blocked, and so we'll have to put in a little piece of plastic to act as a rear fascia on that part of the building. So measure off a little piece of scrap plastic, uh, cut it to size, glue it in place, then you won't be able to look into that half arc. So now we need to uh, create something that looks like the uh, metal doors that protect the windows from vandalism when, when the building is closed, buttoned up tight. Took some uh, pieces of uh, round piping, painted, this was scrap so it was already painted silver, and then I closed off the ends with another small piece of scrap, uh, cut into a D shape glued it to either end, painted them silver, and uh, off camera I did the same thing for the main window and over the door I believe, um, but you see here how I fabricated it, just a little dab of CA, put the pieces of plastic so they're, you know, face the same direction, and voila, the piece fits without glue. Here we're measuring off the plastic for the grate and then cutting it to size. So now I'm at a point where I'm going to glue the architectural feature to the top of the uh, front elevation. It's just going to glue flat and so the first step was just to run CA between the two pieces but there's not enough structure there. So I marked the back of the building to find out what was going to be visible and what wasn't and then took a scrap piece of plastic and glued it across the two components for strength. Again, this is going to be a club project, so it's going to be overbuilt a little bit. This is completely unnecessary. And then the next step is that I took some small thin piece of paper and glued it into the seam between the fascia and the, uh, art, you know, the architectural piece on top and uh, CA'd that firmly in place to create additional structure and I was satisfied that uh, there was enough meat there that uh, the thing could be handled in a club situation without getting damaged or falling apart. So the next piece is to do a rear fascia behind the roof on the crown section. So I took that piece, traced the shape onto a uh, piece of wood siding plastic, cut the shape out, filed it to size, and then the plan is to fit it into place here. Now since I use the outside of the dimension of the roof in order to get that piece shaped, it's going to be a little bit oversized, so there was some a lot of fine work to do. Right here I'm sanding it in order to get the plastic off, give it a little bit of texture, and you'll see that the piece is a little bit long, so after I glue it in place, I'll double back around and cut the extra material off from behind. The last detail was to put some trim work uh, at the crown where the roof meets the top of the fascia. So I took some plastic and glued it along the top there using CA. Off onto the below right you can see the safety chain uh, for the window and the doors. And here we have a little awning 
that uh, needs to be built. So we will cut a piece of plastic long and using L strip, in order to give the thing some mass, I will adhere the L to the perimeter of the piece and then glue it in place. So I lost the video footage to the steps between where this video ends and the next video. I painted all these parts off camera, uh, just using brush and acrylics. And in some places I used a spray can. Right now all the details should be cut, but all the plastic should be completed on the outside of the building. I will have some plastic work that needs to be done on the inside, but now that we're at this point, I can start to paint and doing the final assembly on everything in order to make the end run to completion of the building. So thank you everybody for watching this video. Like, remember to like, share, subscribe, leave a comment if, with any questions or anything you want me to give you some clarity on. Uh, next video will be up in a couple of weeks and we will start making this pile of plastic look like a real building and much more like the prototype. Thank you again and we'll see you on the next one.